out here working on the 1978 Ford Bronco. So the last few videos, pretty much all the videos, each video is pretty much concentrated on one big part of moving this truck forward. But uh, getting to the point where just about everything is a small thing. So for instance, needs new windshield wipers. Well, that's an easy one. Another one, trying to install dual batteries. Uh, another one is uh, building a bumper. You know, some of these things I could put into one video, but instead I'm just gonna kind of keep you guys updated along as I go. Here's the list. I guarantee I'm going to be adding to it. Like for instance, I need to do an oil change. It's got the same oil since 1996. So I'm just gonna kind of share a few snippets of things I'm doing with it. But as you can see, it's a completely different truck from where we started. I mean, it's starting to polish up good, it's starting to get cleaned up. Interior's coming along great. I mean, we're really getting somewhere with this thing. So just gonna keep the videos coming. Just gonna keep sharing what I'm working on little by little. But uh, yeah, thanks for sticking along. Start the list off, we're gonna finish mounting the battery tie downs. I put new trays in, but I need to do new tie downs, the top parts. Uh, I was actually out driving the truck and this battery wasn't mounted down. And instead of doing donuts to the left, I did a donut to the right and this thing got sucked into the alternator, wore a hole in it. So it was a different battery than the other one. But uh, neither of these batteries are for this truck. These are just way more common, way easier to find batteries. It's where the positives on this side set of right here so all I'm doing to wire in my second battery is I'm wiring so this is the ground here the positive goes to the battery terminal I'm routing another positive from this battery terminal around up and over the radiator to the positive here and then the negative I just wired down and into the uh, steering just for a nice ground right there. That way it doesn't, I didn't want to tie it into the motor because I didn't want it to be around all these moving parts. So uh, this second battery isn't for anything other than the winch and potentially a snow plow in the future, but I do not want to be burning up alternators running, uh, running the winch all the time. So what I'm hoping to do is turn off the truck, run the winch on that. So I'll get started on the battery tie down wire in the second battery and tying up the electrical all in one. Need approximately eight foot of battery cable. So what I'm doing is chopping up a two gauge uh, set of jumper cables that's all rusted through. It's gonna save me a lot of money. Uh, it'd probably be about 50 bucks for a roll of a negative and a positive, but pulled the negative, it's brand new off of a, one of my parts trucks. So that's what I'm doing to save money. Okay, we got our wires loomed up. We got them tied up, looking really good all the way across. I mean, really this engine bay is cleaning up big time. Uh, so I got them snaked pretty much along that top rail. Uh, this I wanna leave not tied up. I like those loose how they are. Uh, positive battery cable tied up all the way across, negative tied up. So we are good to uh, cross those off. Hood close. No clearance issues. Tie downs are complete. It's going good. Another thing to cross off. Time to pick a hard one. All right, let's get on it. Digging through one of my mini junk piles to uh, find one of these. It's a little dirty. I prefer it to be cleaner. I'm not sure if I can get that to polish up, but bingo bingo we'll make that work key on and look at that oh man that is so quiet there's uh speed number one there's off that's on then off resets perfectly didn't clean up too good but uh man other thing crossed off the list i like that we're moving forward rewiring the rear end the wiring was just all cobbled together total crap under there so 
ran a new loom from trailer wiring. Uh, this is some higher grade stuff than you might buy at like a Walmart or a Napa or something. This is pretty nice stuff. Uh, comes in a really hardcore uh, casing. 14.4 trailer cable is what it says on it. But uh, this is the reverse light. Got it wired into the red. Have all the grounds for all three lights. That's the uh, tail marker and the running light all run into the same ground. That's probably what was causing the majority of my problems. I'm not sure if we can see this in here. Right there, that ground is really bad. So, uh, got a new ground going. Yellow is the yellow side of the road when you drive, so that's a left turn signal. Green is the green side of the drive, so the right hand side. So, everything's wired in. The main problem, I think, was just a grounding issue, but everything's wired in now. I'll be able to put it back together and test it out. Let's see how our lighting did. So, lights on. Okay, so far everything's good there. Oof. No lights back here. So, those are pretty high powered. And, uh, for some reason, these lights aren't coming out, these running lights. So these are brake lights because my brake switch is not hooked up. But those running lights should be on, so. Huh. Lights are off. These are still on, that's correct. All right. Guess I got some digging to do. Found the problem with this crappy plug here, so I'll move it around. Off, on, off, on, off, on. Uh, on, there we go. So, that's on. That's on. These ones are on. Not sure if the camera can pick that up, but both filaments are on. Let's go over here and Check out the left turn signal. Gotta have the key on. All right, left turn signal. Left turn signal. Left turn signal. That is a brake light going. Let's try the right turn signal. All right, right turn signal. Right turn signal. Oh man. Right turn signal. All right. We are in business. All the wiring is now complete. Short of hooking up my brake lights. I don't know if you can see that flashing. But all I got to do is hook up this switch to the brake pedal. We're golden. So, another thing I get to cross off wire back half of truck done. Oh, what do I want to work on next? Weld tow hooks. We'll do that one next. Tow hooks came out pretty good. Here's my other weld. Here's another weld. Here's another weld. There we go. Now it is uh, ready for paint. Now we can get ready to mount it up on the truck. Ended up building some riser blocks, two inchers. So I can see out this big old truck a lot easier. Rides a lot easier and I can hold on to the steering wheel better. All mounted up. Let's see what's next. I want to get to testing this thing soon. So one of the more important things is going to be this uh, mount fire extinguisher. I already found a nice place. I'm going to tuck it up into that corner. I'm just going to use two screws. So. That way I can just reach behind the driver's side, whack it, it'll fall right out and get to using it. Uh, hopefully you never need to use it, but it's always gonna be there just in case. There we go, she's mounted. Uh, might end up getting one with the metal brackets, but I wanna see how the plastic one goes for now. It's much easier to pull out. I can just whack this and then uh, pull this out. So if it falls off in the first 100 miles, obviously I'll just, uh, hold on to it under the seat 
and uh, look at changing a new spot, but only two small holes in this panel. It's gonna be all right for now. And uh, if it's not, like I said, we can swap it out. So <laughs> it doesn't look perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I got it pulled out enough to fit a tail light in, got screws in it. I mean, it is mounted good. I mean, this will be the difference between putting it to the street and leaving it in the shop. Oh my gosh, I'm very happy with that. Pretty rough line there. But, wow, that is cool. Got a load of stuff crossed off in just one day, but uh, I might have to head home and get some dinner. So this will be the end of this video. Thanks for watching.